In this video, I will be packaging WinRAR executable installation file into a MSI file using Wix. The main reason for that is to deploy the software using group policy. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, at the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about installing and using Wix. Then there are a few videos about Windows registry, and that's because the MSI file that I will be creating will not only install WinRAR, but also will set up Windows to open WinRAR for each user on the computer once after a logon. And I will explain why later in this video. But for that, I will be using Windows functionality called Run Once and Active Setup. So if you want more details on how everything works, you can check out the videos right here. Then there is a video about psexec and that's only because I will be executing the installation of the MSI file that I will be creating as a system account. And that's only to make sure that the installation is successful no matter what user I'm using to deploy the software. And now I will begin this video by downloading WinRAR and I will use the link that I have here that brings us to the WinRAR download page. And here I will click on this button right here, it should start the download for me. Then I will go to my downloads folder and here you can see that I have my executable. And the next thing that I need is the Wix configuration file. And for that, I will go to my GitHub page. And here I have a few Wix configuration files. One of them is called WinRAR. And this is already finished Wix configuration file that you can check out if you want to. But for this video, I'll be using the one that's called templates. So I'll click on it. And then I will click on the button right here to download the configuration file. And I will go back to my downloads folder. And here we can see our Wix configuration file here. Now I will rename the, the configuration file. So I'll right click it, select the name, and I will call it WinRAR. Then I will right click once again, and I will open it with Visual Studio Code. And you can use any text editor to open this file. And as you can see, it's an XML file. Basically, it's instructions for Wix on how to package the executable into a MSI file for us. And this configuration file is a bit different compared to other configuration files that I made for similar software. And that's because of this component right here. And this component right here is creating an active setup registry key that will later create the run once registry key. And we are doing it because, like I said, we want to launch WinRAR for each user on the computer once. And I will explain a bit more uh, later in this video. But if you don't want this functionality, you can select this component right here and remove it from this file. Then you also need to remove this component reference. And if you remove this and this, then the WinRAR will stop launching for each user on the computer. And now let's start configuring this uh, configuration file. Basically, we only care about this part right here because here we need to fill in the unique information that is required for this package and for the WinRAR installation. And I will begin by giving a name for this MSI package. I will name it WinRAR installer. Then for exe, we need to provide the executable name. And for that, I will go to my downloads folder, right click on the executable, select the rename. Then I will select the full name to include the extension because extension is necessary and then i will right click again and select copy go back to visual studio code and paste in the value right here then for the path we want to provide uh, the location where we currently have our executable and for me it's my downloads folder and my downloads folder is in my d drive so i'll write d and downloads then we need to provide silent arguments and that's because we want WinRAR installation to happen silently. And for that, I will go to my GitHub page and here I have the silent switch that is necessary for the silent installation. So I'll select it, right click it and copy it. Go back to Visual Studio Code and paste in the value here. Then for the version, we need to provide the version number for this MSI package. And this is the version for this MSI package that is not related to the software version, but I like to keep my MSI package version the same as the software that it installs. So I will copy the version number from the executable and I will add a dot after the six. Then publisher is not that important, but it's a mandatory field. So I will give it a value of let's do automation. 
and then we need to give a GUID. And GUID is a unique identifier. And we can generate a GUID by using a PowerShell command. So for that, once again, I will go to my GitHub page. And here I have a PowerShell command that we can use to generate GUID. So I'll select it, copy it, open the terminal, or you can open a PowerShell window, paste in the command, and press enter. And every time I'm using this command, I'm getting a new unique identifier. So I'll select one of the values, copy it, go back to Visual Studio Code and paste in the value right here. And that's basically all the necessary information that we need to provide for VIX for it to package our executable into a MSI file. And now we can create our MSI package and for that I will open my terminal. And here the first thing that I want to do is to change the directory in this command line to the location where we have our VIX configuration file. And once again, for me, it's my downloads folder. So I'll type CD, D, and downloads. Press enter. If I type there, I can see my WinRAR executable installation file and WinRAR the VIX configuration file. Now to create the MSI package, I will type VIX, build, and then we need to provide the configuration file name. So it's winrar.wxs and press enter. If I go back to my downloads folder, I can see that Wix already created the MSI file for me. And now we can try to install this MSI file and see how it works. So for that, I will right click it and select copy. Then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have a Windows virtual machine prepared. And here I have the software folder. I will open it and I will paste in the file into this folder. Also in the same folder, I have my PSX executable. And that's because I will be installing WinRAR using a system account to make sure that the installation is successful no matter what user I'm using to deploy the software. So the next thing that I want to do is open another command line. So I'll click on start menu, type CMD and run as administrator and yes. Now we want to change the location in the command line to the directory where we have our files. So for that, I will click here and I will copy the location. Then I will type CD, paste in the directory and press enter. If I type there, I can see my PSExec executable and WinRAR MSI file in my command line. Also, if I type who am I, it gives us a value of admin. Basically that means that this command line currently run, is running under the admin user. Now to switch to the system account, I will be using psexec, so I'll type psexec executable name, minus i for interactive, minus s to launch, to launch the process under the system account, and then we want to provide the process that we want to start under the system user. In my case, I will start another command line, so I will type cmd and press enter. I will agree with the license terms and here we have our new command line. But this time if I type who am I, it is saying that this command line is running under the user called NT authority system. So once again, we want to change the location to the location where we have our file. So I'll type CD, paste in the location and press enter. If I type there, I can see my psexec executable and WinRAR MSI file once again. And to install the MSI file, I will type cmd slash c. This is not necessary, but it allows us to see when the installation is fully finished just by looking at the command line. Then I will provide the MSI file name. So it's winrar.msi. And then I will perform installation silently. So I will add switch qn and press enter. And it's done almost instantly. And now let's look around and see what happened in our system. So for that, first let's go to the control panel and see our installed program list. So I will type in the command line control. It opens the control panel and I will select uninstalled program. And here we have our installed program list. And here we have our WinRAR installer MSI file. And that's published by Let's Do Automation and it has the version number that we provided. And also we have the WinRAR itself. And that's because we installed the MSI file and then the MSI file installed WinRAR for us. It's possible to hide WinRAR entry from this list, but it makes this software troubleshooting uh, way more difficult and that's unnecessary. So that, that's why I like to keep it. And now let's see what we have in our registry. So for that, I'll 
click on start menu, type reg edit, and I will run it as administrator. Let's see how active setup looks now. So I will go to local machine, software, and then WoW64 node, Microsoft, active setup, installed components, and somewhere here we should have the WinRAR uh, installer. And here it is. So it seems that the registry key was successfully created. And this registry key will be executed for each user on the computer once during the login process. And this registry key will be creating a registry entry for run once. And run once will start WinRAR for each user on the computer. And the reason why we want that is simple. Uh, as an example, I will right click on this folder. And now that we have WinRAR installed, we should have an option here for WinRAR to create RR file. But we don't because that option appears after we open WinRAR once. And we need to open WinRAR for each user on the computer that needs uh, the ability to create RAR files. And if you don't care about creating RAR files and you care only about opening RAR files, then you can go to the Visual Studio code. You can uh, remove this component here and this component reference here. Then it will install WinRAR but it will uh, not open the WinRAR for each user on the computer. And now let's see how active setup works. So for that, I will close all the windows that I have here. And then I will sign out from my user. Then I will sign in. And as you can see, WinRAR has launched for this user and it seems to be working just fine. Also, if I right click on my software folder, I have my WinRAR menu option right here. So now I can create my RAR files. And this is a bit annoying that you need to open uh, WinRAR for each user, but so far it's the best solution that I found on how to deal with this problem. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.